All right. In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to use the spring type for the hinge. Okay. So, I mean, in the last lesson, we did kind of skim over it. Sure. But I kind of want to show you how to use it because it's a very powerful tool, and not covering it is kind of a shame. Cool. So, let's create another room and create sort of a trapdoor effect with something rolling down and it kind of tumbling through it and bouncing back and forth, that kind of thing. Okay, I think I see what you mean. Go ahead and, and start setting it up, and it'll probably become clear as we go. Okay. So let's create another room on the side here. Let's create our brush. Let's drag it over here. Not our that. Let's just take this brush, drag it over here. Just want to create a little doorway first. Since we have snapping on, it should work really good. It's kind of a bigger doorway than I'm thinking, but it'll work. So you're adjusting a few size parameters again? Yeah, just adjusting a little bit. Okay. Not going to get carried away this time. I believe you. Sure you do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's move up the height just a little bit. Don't yeah. want to kind of drag it on the floor. Right. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a nice ha um, hallway. So let's dig that guy out. Kind of sticks on the default texture, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me just undo that quick because I just noticed that I had it a little bit in too far. Ah, right. that's a lot better. So let's create another brush. Let's make this guy really... Well, we want it quite a bit high, so let's set this to 512. Let's set the width to... Well, let's set this to 512 too, and this guy to 256. Okay. We build that guy... Actually, my bad. Let's change this to 256 and 512 without the plus. Well, at least you caught it before you actually created it this time. You're getting better. i got to give you that. Well, thank you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move that guy up. And you'll see we kind of will have a kind of long room with a fairly high ceiling so that we can stage our effect. Okay. So let's dig this guy out. And actually, you know, that's looking pretty cool. And let's let's start actually placing our stuff in our scene. Sure. So let's go to our static mesh browser. And we already have the Scorch Bridge A up that's in our Abaddon hardware. Abaddon, that's right. Yeah. So let's since that's selected, let's close out our static mesh browser. Okay. And move over here and just move up a little bit. So it's going to a barrel. We're going to duplicate a barrel mm -hmm. and have it slide down and create the effect we're looking for. Okay. So let's first create a regular static mesh. We don't want like gravity affecting it, so we'll just keep it at the, the just as a static mesh. Sure. Ah, let's rotate this guy around, and let's kind of scale it down a little bit. It does not need to be that big. Right. That's a that's a pretty big mesh we got there. Yes, definitely. Maybe something around like that. Let's kind of squeeze it down a little bit. Uh, a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm kind of liking that. Let's move this there guy into place. That's uh, kind of looking good. You know, the height is a little bit too high, so let's go over here and set it to 0.25. So you're going to thin him out a little bit? Yeah, just a bit. And you know what? Let's turn it just a little bit so that we can have a sort of incline. Uh, uh, a slope. A slope, yeah. So let's kind of go over here, move this to the... Actually, to the back is kind of good. And let's just rotate this guy. Hit wrong axis. Let's change to our rotate. And let's get this guy rotated. Maybe the other direction. That's a good idea. There so that's kind go. of an incline. There we go. So it's going to roll down. Let's quickly grab one of our barrels... Again, this is just going to be a really cool example of how to create springs and how to use springs efficiently. Okay. So let's create this barrel over here, kind of line them up a little bit. And again, we'll rotate him. And right about like that. Grab our move tool. Well, sort of our move tool. Yeah. And let's pull him up all the way to the top here so that he can have a nice start kind of stick into the ceiling, mm -hmm. almost. No, it looks like he fits in there pretty nice. Yeah, he's actually fitting there pretty nice. Let's just move this down a little bit, just to make me more comfortable. Okay. Long as you're comfortable, that's what matters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, that guy's up there. We wanted to start falling down and kind of hitting a series of 
of different trapdoors, if you will. Okay. So let's kind of duplicate this guy over. Well, actually, this is a static mesh, and we want these guys to be actors. Sure. Characters. So let's. We already have it selected on our static mesh browser. So let's go and right click and add a Karma actor. Again, that's going to be very huge. So yeah, we're going to have to. It's a pretty big mesh. Let's make sure. Well, let's just check our values and copy them over. That's actually going to be faster. And let's copy this one over. Excuse me, this guy. That's kind of nice. And we know the next one is 0.25. We're going to be changing them a little bit, but... But that will at least a, get us started. That's right. Let's rotate this guy around. Right about like that. He's definitely a little bit too wide. So let's m move this down to maybe 0.3. Yeah, maybe still a little bit too much. Maybe 0.25. That's kind of nice. There we go. And let's move this. Actually, let's zoom out a little bit. Come over here. This is a good place to set up our simulation. So we want it to roll down, hit this one, hit another one below it, and kind of have a nice little effect there. Okay. So let's move this guy down to about, I'm uh, just kind of eyeballing it here. Uh, so it's Shift-D. Mm -hmm. And then create another one right about there. Yeah, move, this move guy him in. back up against the wall. There you go. And let's see. Let's create another one. Let's create maybe three. Like Actually, that's looking really good. I was going to say, I don't know if we can fit another one in there. No, so I don't think so. Looks like that's probably going to be it. Right. Let's try to space it out just a little bit more because we want room for it to actually bend. Sure. Let's drag this guy down. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Okay. Maybe up one little bit. That's kind of nice. And finally, why don't we just move this guy in and stretch these guys down a little bit because we want room for them to... We're going to be hinging them right mm -hmm. on this axis right here, so we want them to have enough room to arc down. So let's make it just a little bit smaller, maybe 0 0.2, 2.0. Uh, maybe all the way down to 0.2. I know. So let's go down here, change all of these to 0.22. Okay. And change the last guy to 0.22. Now that's going to be a pretty cool effect. Let's move this guy up. Yeah, if we get all those to spring up, and that should look pretty neat. Yeah. So let's go into our actor, actor browser, and go down to K actor, K constraint, and let's select the K hinge, just like we did before. Okay. And let's right click and add K hinge here. So let's move this guy into position. And we'll rotate him around because we want it to hinge on that axis like yeah, that. Yeah, we need him to point down the axis we're going to be hinging on. Right. So let's get it right about there. Okay. And let's set the properties up for this guy so that it looks right here, and then the rest will just be pretty easy. Sure. So let's set up the K constraint, and let's find this guy right there. Uh, sometimes it has a hard time. Recognizing it, no big problem. Just click it again. All right, so there we have it. And let's set the damping to something like point, uh, point four. Okay. And let's actually let's actually set the stiffness to something rather uh, fairly high because we want it to really bounce back into position. Sure. So actually, that's looking really good. I, I actually I think that's it, except for one important thing, and we need to set this to HG springy. Okay. So I'll spring back and forth, give it a cool effect. And with that, let's copy this guy. Actually, duplicate him, whichever you want to say. And move this guy over to maybe here. And duplicate him again. And copy him all the way over to here. Let's get him back into position. So now everyone has one. But we need to go in and quickly change which one they're referencing, which, they're con which one they're constraining. Right. So let's clear this guy and find the one we're kind of inside right now. And go down to this guy and select him to be selecting the right guy, be constraining the right guy.